Look at that, nerves of steel. Oh, oh no, no, let's start it. Oh, you stop bouncing. No, 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 not yet. No, no, not yet. Okay, now. Oh, no, I'm on the... Oh, here it comes. Maybe. Yes. There it is. Okay. So, you probably want to know how this happened, huh? Well, so do I. I'm an old man, so I'm not going to remember too much, but 1981, a couple of guys were hired by, I think it was J. Walter Thompson, advertising agency, to write a song for the Blue Jays to go with a promotional video. And they were going to pitch it to all these different uh, advertisers and try and get more support for the, the ball team, you see. So um, Jack Lenz and Tony Kozenek um, sat down and wrote this song, and then they started auditioning people to come and sing it. So I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50, I don't know how many guys they auditioned, but uh, I, went, I was just one of the guys that went in and auditioned, and um, uh, I listened to the song and I thought, gee, that sounds kind of like a Randy Newman song. So I thought I'd give it a little Randy Newman kind of touch. Uh, I don't sing like me, I sing like other people. So um, uh, that's how the, uh, I got the gig, because they thought, hey, that Randy Newman sound sounds good. So um, uh, I uh, auditioned, I got the song, and I sang it. And uh, a few years after um, Jack and Tony would sell it at the ballparks, the Blue Jays, of course, got into the World Series, and um, everybody wanted a copy of the record. So um, uh, the record started selling like hotcakes, and uh, they even put it in record stores. Before then, uh, you could only buy it at the, um, at the ballpark. So anyway, um, the song, uh, one morning I'm sitting reading the paper, having a cup of coffee, and a little blurb in the corner of the newspaper says, um, the OK Blue Jay song has just been certified gold. And I went, whoa, a gold record, I've never had one of those. So um, I, uh, I got on the phone and I phoned the record company and I said, hey, I'm the guy that uh, sings the Blue Jay song, and I hear it went gold. Oh, one moment, please. So I'll put in and get somebody else. Hi, I'm the guy that sings a Blue Jay song, and I hear the song just went gold. Any chance I can get a caught? Uh, one moment, please. So I got transferred uh, three or four times. Finally, somebody said, oh, yeah, 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 it did go gold. I said, um, any chance I can uh, maybe um, get a gold record? They went, oh, yeah, I, I guess so. So anyway, they took my, my particulars and whatever. Boom, there it is, over. And um, the, uh, um, a few days later, no, a couple of weeks later, somebody comes to the door, a courier, and he says, we have a, uh, um, a record for uh, uh, Keith Hampshire. Um, are you him? And I said, yes, I am. And they said, okay, uh, that'll be $81, please. So yes, I did get a gold record, and um, it now proudly uh, sits behind my uh, toilet in the, uh, in the washroom. It's the only place my wife will let me put it. And I'm very proud of it, but because it is my only gold record. And um, that's the story of OK, OK Blue, I can't even say it, OK Blue Jays. Anything else you need to know? <laughs> when I was coming up with the title and some, some lyric ideas, uh, there was a club in, well, 20 miles outside of Athens in the middle of nowhere called the Hawaiian Holly. And it was an African-American disco that friends of mine had discovered. Uh, what, what I remembered from the guitar playing aspect is we didn't, when we went into phase one, we just had our, our crappy bar gear and our old guitars because we hadn't got really any money yet to buy stuff. So we recorded with what we had or we rented it. 